Sometimes we forget that the basic rights and comforts that we have in the 21st century are not enjoyed by all human beings. Basic services such as running water, electricity, health, and education are a part of our everyday life. We are better communicated thanks to the technological advances, and our production and commercialization systems achieve high levels of efficiency and profitability, trying to respect the environment and guaranteeing high standards of quality. However, in many places on our planet, the situation is dramatically different. To study a specific case, we travel to Peru. Here, in the heart of the Andes, the home of ancestral civilizations, we find the districts of Acopia and Cachora, part of the Cusco and Abancay departments. Two rural districts with an approximate population of 6,000 people distributed amongst eight communities that live over 2,600 meters above the sea. In contrast to urban areas, access to basic services in rural areas is very limited. Most households don't have drinking water, drainage systems, or electricity. Both districts provide public education up to secondary school, but if they want to continue with a higher level education, young people, mainly the males, are forced to move to the cities. On the other hand, families try to avoid sending females to the school. Many of them end up staying in the communities, losing their chances to acquire an education and any career opportunity. Hay 25% de analfabetismo todavía hay en las personas mayores, los cuales que en la casa de repente no apoyan a sus niños, ¿no? Healthcare also faces a lot of difficulties. The districts of Acopia and Cachora have a small primary care center in their respective capitals. However, these centers are far away from the communities and people have to travel long distances to receive medical attention. A pesar de que el centro de salud está haciendo esfuerzos en brindar atenciones de calidad, todavía tenemos problemas de la misma población. Por falta de movilidad y por la distancia también, ¿no? Para bajar a la avenida, barro, lluvia. Los que están de Pantipata vienen en carro, los que no entra el carro entonces vienen a pie, así en camilla. Lo otro que tenemos problemas de anemia y desnutrición crónica, también tendríamos este, problemas de parasitosis, que arraiga esto por problemas de agua, principalmente en niños. Furthermore, no district has a public office for the defense of children and teenagers. This way, many cases of domestic violence are left unattended. Isolation is a constant problem in the lives of many peasant families. The public transport doesn't reach the communities. Only the city hall workers have access to the internet and just a few businesses or community centers have a phone line. Living far away from urban areas in such a hilly terrain, selling something in the cities becomes a tough task. The situation gets even worse during the five-month-long rainy season when the main roads are frequently closed. Cuando llueve fuerte, corremos un riesgo. Cualquier rato, en tiempo de lluvia, nos puede pasar algún accidente. En 16 de febrero del año 2011, nos hemos quedado sin comunicarnos también con Abanca y así. Nos ha afectado a 11 familias. Due to their isolation, these rural communities are left out of regional and national economic development, and the peasant families get even poorer. An economic development based on farming focused on milk production, guinea pig breeding, and the farming of bean, corn, and potato. Despite the long dry season, there are natural water springs, which make the soil fertile and suitable for cultivation. Nevertheless, production is scarce and not very profitable in the market. 
Two problems caused by the lack of technical capabilities and the ignorance of proper commercialization techniques. These weaknesses directly affect their productive organizations. La distribución del agua que tenemos es, se nos hace muy difícil de repente para abastecer el riego óptimo de la alfalfa. No alcanza porque la zona es bien productora en verde, o sea, choclo, haba verde, y entonces en tiempo de no alcanza agua. Lo más difícil que se nos hace es pues, falta de organización. Nuestra dificultad en la producción de ganado es la leche. No tenemos un centro de, de producción de, o transformación de territorios lácteos. Tenemos quiz, no hay a dónde, no hay mercado para de repente vender. No hay quien nos compre. Part of these bad results is the lack of leadership and the unbalanced participation of men and women. Los varones son muy machistas, nos ignoraban a las mujeres. No nos aceptaban en asambleas comunales, y nos decían ustedes están sin voto y voz. Y más, de verdad no hay derecho a rimar en el país. Hay veces que las autoridades piscan y aman a las autoridades que se ponen a rimar en el país. Y se ponen a rimar en el Another difficulty detected in both districts is the inability of local governments and the rural communities to properly manage their own development and satisfy the basic necessities of the population. This refers to the men and women of the communities, to the rural leaders, their production organizations, and the local government. Four agents that are taking on larger obligations and responsibilities due to the process of decentralization that has been going on in Peru for years. It is time to cooperate. To achieve this, the Basque NGO Zabalqueta, Caritas Red Sur, and the Basque Agency of Cooperation are working in the area with a program that promotes fair, sustainable, and human development. En el marco del trabajo que desarrollamos con Zabalqueta y el programa, estamos para conseguir que todos los agentes eh, trabajen de manera conjunta y que la población tiene que recuperar la confianza en las instituciones y ser más participativa. Hay que trabajar todos juntos en equipo para seguir adelante. A strengthening program that nowadays is showing very positive results in the eight communities where these peasant families have more opportunities to achieve dignified living conditions. <laughs>